This is your Inside Iwakuni News Strike. Military working dogs and their handlers are an effective team when it comes to enforcing the law, but it takes more than training to form a good team. Corporal Hannah Kaszewski took a look at the close bond between dog and handler to unleash this story. Military working dogs are an essential part of law enforcement on any military installation. They're fast, they're intelligent, and they can be vicious. But the dog is only half of the team. Lance Corporal Rachel Davis is Delia's handler, and they form one of the military working dog teams aboard Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni. She's very, very dependable. You can always count on, on her to complete her job and her mission. So that's always nice to have. Uh, so it's like a partner, so it's like I, I can go back to her, and she's like my second hand. So it's not, it's like easy day. It's an easy day when she have, you have your MWD next to you. Yeah. That's my everyday job. It definitely makes me as a as a Marine want to push harder because I don't ever want to lose this job and I always want to be stronger for her and be better than all the other MWD teams. So you're always competing against one another. Davis says passion is one of the most important things when it comes to working with military working dogs. You gotta you gotta have your heart into it is my biggest thing. Like you have to want it. You can't just be given you know, a school seat to the basic handler's course. You have to earn it. And what I mean by earning it is like putting your devotion into this time and effort to these dogs because it's not just you. You don't, you're, you're not the only person in this job. You got your MWD who needs you just as bad. Corporal Hannah Koshesky, Marine Corps Air Station, Iwakuni, Japan. Ah!